Consider this. There is a Max fi Anything? He talked to me. He says the next one is Max's. Damn you, Keith. Can you give me one thing straight? We were happy. Daddy. I don't want to go in there. It Max would spend hours there. Maybe this is what Keith meant. This was Max's favorite place in the house. Now we need to put out the fire to search through it. Any wounds I'm... This should help. Now let's look. I found Max, I think. You can keep it. I thought you liked his games. I never did. That was the problem. It won't come out. Those two don't work together. Those two don't. That 
won't work. Oh, come on. This is not going to... It's badly burned. There's something written on it, but it's way too small for me to read. It says, find a light in the darkness. Any ideas? No, but I can look around and see if I remember anything. We were. That's Daddy. Things would be so different if he was still around. He's with Senator Aaron Light. Good man. She had a niece. Davies did. She loved her to pieces. When she was around, you could almost see Davies smile. Maybe she wasn't perfect, but she didn't deserve what you did to her. Even if she didn't help you when she could have, even if you went to prison. Maybe she didn't deserve her rank, but everyone deserves to live. Daddy would have said that. He liked people that did good. He said the Senator's last name was not a coincidence. Wait. Aaron Light. A light. Look for a light. Keith, you tricky little... Erica, look at this. Did he hide it there? Only one way to find out. I need something to cut through it. Here, let me take a look. Ugh. I'd be very eager to kill him if I were you. My job is justice, not revenge. I'm not like you. We'll see, when the two of you are face to face. Kane's figurine of me. Fucking creepy. What are we looking for? We're not looking for anything anymore. I think we've found everything Keith left for us. Now we just need to find out what it all means downstairs. Alright, well I'm gonna save just in case. There's one missing. This must be who we're looking for. Knowing Keith, we're not going to find it easily. We'll need to figure this one out. No, but I know where they are now. I just saw it. Shit, they must have followed me. Not so fast. You need to get me out of here. I can leave through the back, but you have to help me. Oh, shit. Go! You'll need this. Bring McAdams to Mount Auburn Cemetery. 
where Scott died? We'll save your dad. He's one of the good guys. Oh shit, they got a chopper. What were you doing back there? That doesn't matter. You have to listen to me. If you are not going to answer my questions, save it for your attorney, Reed. We're still on the back roads. The highway is another few miles away. If I'm gonna get out of here or convince him to let me go, I need to do it before then. I've really done it this time. How the hell am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna get him to come with me, willing to know? McAdams. What? <sighs> yeah, right. He's not gonna listen to a word I have to say as long as he's in control of this situation. I need to get out of these cuffs and into that driver's seat. Somehow. <sighs> Can we stop for a minute? I'm getting car sick. I wasn't born yesterday, Reed. Suck it up. Jerk. I also wasn't born deaf. Or blind. <laughs> it's very sharp. McAdams locked the windows. Only he can roll it down. McAdams. What? Mind rolling the window down? Your cologne's killing me here. Fine. What are you doing? Trying to stretch. You might not know this, but sitting in a car in cuffs, not very comfortable. Hmm. I need some noise in here. That could help distract McAdams. If only I could get it turned on. McAdams. What? Fine, you win the quiet game. Turn on the radio, at least. Your comfort is not my concern at this point. Why don't we talk about what you did to Cordelia Smith, then? You want to discuss that? Because I could spend the whole ride talking about it. Fine. Radio it is. Shit! was that? I do not need this right now. Wait, what, what are you? Stop! Believe it or not, I really am sorry. But I don't have time for this.
Are you fucking insane, Reed? Let me out of these cuffs now! I can't do that, McAdams. Kane is out there, and if I don't bring you to her, he's going to kill my father. What the hell are you talking about? McAdams, I... Save it. I have no interest in anything you have to say at this point, Reed. You attacked a federal agent, and now you handcuff your supervisor? How the fuck do you think this is going to end? It didn't need to go down like this. If you'd listen to me... That's a bullshit excuse and you know it. Oh, you know what your problem is, McAdams. You're a control freak. You don't trust anyone. You didn't trust Cordelia Smith. You didn't trust me when Scott was kidnapped. And you haven't trusted me since you showed up here again. Reed, goddammit. Anyone that pulls half the shit you've pulled over these years would have been fired on the spot. You still had your job because Davies and I knew you were a good agent. My job requires me to do things by the book. You don't like the book. I get that. But what I've done, I've done to protect you. And your life will be much easier the minute that you understand that I'm not your enemy. What do you know about Cordelia Smith? Mm, hold on. Okay, let's try this again. I didn't want it to go down like this, McAdams. If you'd just trusted me, if you'd ever trust anyone, we wouldn't even be in this situation. That's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You haven't trusted me since Scott was kidnapped, if ever. But if you'd actually given Cordelia Smith a chance, a lot of people might still be alive today. Reed, goddammit. Anyone that pulls half the shit you... My job requires me to do things... What do you know about Cordelia Smith? I know the truth. I know what you did. Ignored her, arrested her, the cover-up, all of it. You refuse to stop living in the past, Reed. Mistakes happen. They may be tragic, but there's no going back. You're right. There's no changing the past or bringing back the people you've lost or wronged. The best anyone can do is learn from it. If it happened again today, I'd do things differently. I'm sorry for what happened to that woman, but there's nothing I can do about it now. For your own sake, you have to stop making it personal, Erica. You made it personal with Jetta. You did your best to protect her, and I appreciate that. But understand that if I had made it personal, I would never have put her in such risk. I couldn't let my feelings for her get in the way. You couldn't understand. You don't have a family, Sam. And that's probably the reason why, Erica. Look, I'm just asking you to listen. I'm not crazy. Kane is back out there, and he will kill my father if I don't hurry. And what makes you so certain of any of that? The man's been a ghost for three years now. Are you sure this isn't your feelings clouding your judgment once again? I know because Cordelia Smith is the one behind every killing, and the Kane killer is her brother Keith Smith, a.k.a. Jeff Therian. How can I believe you given the way you've been acting? You shot John! That was an accident. You're FBI. Your job doesn't allow for accidents. Fine. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. You found this information at the towers? Yes, there's more. I'd rather do this with your help, McAdams, but I'm doing it either way. Keith Smith has been missing and presumed dead for six years. What a better way to get away with murder. He forced Cordelia to kill Max after learning he wasn't their biological brother. She took the blame, and he was free to disappear and keep killing. Think about it, McAdams. He fits the profile. Caucasian male, 25 to 45, highly intelligent, obsessed with his work, plenty of reasons to be hung up on close sibling relationships. Shit. Then where the hell has he been for the last three years? Chained up in the basement of the Enthon Towers. What? So what's it gonna be? Fine. If it'll bring them in and save your father, you've got my help. I have to warn you, Cordelia wants you dead. I can take care of myself. How do you know where the hell you're heading? Cordelia told me. You just told me this woman is a murderer. And she's also a victim of your negligence. Are you justifying her, Reed? No, McAdams. 
I know what my job is. I'm just saying that sometimes things aren't as black and white as I wish they were. Not even in that book of yours. You came. I told you I'd help. You brought him. What do you want with him? That is between him and me. Don't we have something better to do than chat about this? You're right. Let's go. We're wasting time. So we're working with a killer now, Reed. Is that your big plan? Listen, she brought me here. I feel I can trust her intentions. He's down there. If we want to save your father, we'll have to play his game. We'll have to let him capture us. Otherwise, the outcome... I can't see it ending well. How is that a good plan at all? We'll have a chance. I see these sorts of things, remember? You have to trust me. You'll betray me. You've seen that one too? I told you, the future is a fickle thing. I do want to help you, Erica, but I am who I am. I make no promises about what happens down there. The same. I can't promise what I'll do after my father is safe. Are you ready? Will you keep my father safe? I'll handle Kane. You're too invested in this, Erica. I'll do my job, McGowan's. But I know Kane better than you do. Fine. But I'll be there if you screw up. Dad! He's alive, still. Why do you have to bring a full party? It makes things more... difficult. Let him go, you bastard! Didn't you get enough with Scott? No. I've been waiting too long to finish this. And it has to be done right. Cordelia! Would you tie Erica to this? And if you try anything, I will shoot someone! And that might be you. Apologies, Agent. <laughs> Make sure those are tight. Did you take her weapon? Yes. And his? You don't need to worry about him. He's my problem. Then take care of him. Stand over there where I can see you both. You wanted to copy me eventually, Cordelia. Isn't that right? Kill me? The same I kill? I never wanted to kill you, Keith. No. You just made me wish I was dead. The Cordelia I loved, she would never be so cruel. You changed everything when you made me kill Max. And we're here now and can't even talk the way we used to. That connection that only you and I had. I don't want you dead, but for this to stop, you have to die. It's a mystery to me what goes on in your beautiful brain sometimes. But I have a theory. What will you do after I'm dead? I never mourned over Max's death, but... But you do have a conscience, Cordelia. And you've been suppressing it so you could act freely. But when it wakes up, when moms and dads and Max's memory awaken you, there won't be a swift death that will allow your brain to cope with what you've done to get here. Your domino effect failed, just as I knew it would. Agent Reed never killed me. And so, who will kill me now, sister? It won't be you. We both know that your conscience wouldn't let you. Exactly my thoughts. And Erica Reed, I've learned so much about you over the years. Now we finally get to be properly introduced. I'm curious to know how much pain you can endure. As I push this lever, this spike will move towards you. If you scream, if you do so much as whisper, I will press this at full speed in the other direction, over to your father. It will kill him instantly. What do you get from all this? It's a subject that's always interested me, these human connections of love and family. 
because the only time I felt a connection to her, she preferred someone else. So, shall we begin the experiment? Find a way to stop him. Not a good idea when he's watching me. Please don't hurt my father! I said silence! I'll let this one pass. Do it again, and it's over for your father. <laughs> this doesn't look good. If you let me go, you'll get out of here alive. I was very clear about the rules. Your choice. Ah. No! If I'm gonna say something, I better make it count. Please help me! I said silence! Dad, do it now! I was very... God damn it. You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm gonna say... Adams, are you okay? We have to go after him. Cordelia, what are you doing? I... He let Max die. Yes, he did, but he couldn't have known. Crap. And that's why he deserves this. I can't change what happened, Miss Smith. But killing me won't bring your brother back. You could have done more. He could, but you have to understand, it wasn't even his case. So that's how you see our lives? As a case? No wonder you failed. Look, he didn't do his job, but he's a good agent, and he has helped a lot of people. If you kill him, you'll just be taking away someone else's chance to find closure and peace. But I want the closure. I want peace. Listen to what your brother told you. Listen to your fucking conscience. I... I can't.
McAdams, are you hurt? I'll live. Stay with my dad. I'm gonna catch Kane. Catch her, too. 